Hello guys, I'm so glad that you are here and today I want to share wonderful information with you and I thank you for letting me educate you on more stuff on animation and how I do my stuff. So today I want to talk about um, the specs of the laptop you could use to create animation using Moho Studio or the question is what sort of laptop or computer should I get if I want to start creating animation using Moho Studio? And this is what we'll be talking about. So if you want to know what sort of laptop and the specs that I use personally and which type of laptop you need to get so that you can create better animation with Moho Studio, stick around till the end to know this and there's a bonus gift for you at the end. So let's go. All right. Welcome everybody. Creating animation has always been a wonderful thing for me and every other person who I think creates animation out there. But personally, when I started creating animation, it was really tough because I didn't have enough money to create and do what I need to do or to learn per se. So I was using a really old laptop that wasn't really working and the specs of that laptop that I was using way back then was a 2 gig RAM and like a 100 gig hard drive and the laptop was really slow way back then Moho Studio was I think that was like version 7 or so or version 5 and Moho Studio was really running very slow and it takes a whole time to render and all this other stuff. Fast forward to today, I have a better laptop now and I create better animations using Moho Studio. If you have been following my channel, you could see that I've been able to teach wonderfully using what I have. So, if you don't have a lot of money, if you are on a budget, you want to create animations or you want to learn animation, any Core i3 laptop will be perfect for you to create animation. Core i3, Core i5, Core i7 etc these laptops would be really really great to help you create better animations and they wouldn't be slow because any laptop with that spec called core i3 would have at least nothing less than a 4 gig ram with nothing less than 250 um, hard disk space with a really good processor for you to you know do whatever you want to do and always make sure that you have a graphic card in that laptop so you should have your nvidia or any other graphic card that you would want to use activated or installed in the laptop so that you while rendering you can do better rendering with your gpu for me personally i use a core i7 hp intel core laptop which i upgraded to a 16 gig ram and with one terabyte of hard drive this is what i use personally and i have an awesome processor that does the magic if you are on a budget you can go for a core i3 laptop but if you're not on a budget you can go for a core i7 and something much more higher to start using to create animations and this will help you create faster animations and render your animations real quickly a quick disclaimer i am not advertising for hp but this is the laptop that i use so let's get that out of the way and do not i repeat do not suffer yourself by going to get a really small laptop that is not even a core i whatever because you would suffer creating animation because it's going to be very slow and if you are a learner you might find it really tough so go for a core i3 laptop with nothing less than a 4 gig ram and nothing less than 250 hard disk space to start creating your animation and i think you can get this on a budget for as low as 100 to 500 dollars depending on which country you are from and your conversion rates so with that being said let me know in the comments what type of laptop you use to create and learn your animations so that every other person watching this video can use what you have if you have a, a much more cheaper option that they can use make sure you watch the next video and i will see you in it and let's learn more great stuff